Did you know that the gut is being called the second brain nowadays? There are ample reasons for the same and in this video we shall be exploring about the various reasons that has been put forward by the modern research and what Ayurveda has been saying for a long time. Talking about the latest modern research, it has been able to find out that inside the gut starting from the esophagus to the rectum there is a two layer lining of 100 million nerves neurons and neurotransmitters which is called the enteric nervous system and this is similar to the nervous system that you find in the central nervous system which includes the brain and spine and these two are in constant crosstalk what does that mean it means that we will be able to find out new methodologies of treatment for certain conditions, especially chronic conditions like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, autism, PTSD, obesity and few other conditions. Now let us see what Ayurveda has got to say. Ayurveda has always been saying that there is a constant communication between gut and the mind. So how does that happen? Ayurvedically understood, the gut is the boss. Gut is the very engine of the system which decides whatever food that we consume is getting digested, absorbed and assimilated in the system or not. And if something gets properly digested, then it gets into the first formed tissue which is called the rasadhatu, otherwise which forms the base of the blood which is the plasma. And this is the one which nourishes the mind. And it is the very same concept or theory that we utilize in our clinics while treating such chronic conditions like anxiety and few others. So this latest study which proves the connection between gut and brain, rather the gut-brain axis is in fact a cherry on top of the cake which Ayurveda has been always been talking about.